Joanne, how are you today? I'm coming to you today for my friend Scrappy Kathy's YouTube celebration hop for reaching 1,500 subscribers. Yay, Kathy. Congratulations, my friend. You are so sweet, and I love your videos, and I love listening to your stories. So, everybody, please be sure to go check out Kathy's channel if you're not already subscribed to her. And I'm going to put a list of all the participants in this awesome hop down below. So be sure to check everybody out. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I picked these pictures of my great niece because she has a little teal green outfit on. And I thought that it matched perfect for St. Patrick's Day. But then when I put it there, I liked it. But I don't like the door that she's standing in front of. The wood grain wood this collection. I'm using Simple Stories Simple Vintage Weathered Garden. It is gorgeous. So then I went ahead and printed it in black and white and I do feel that I like that better. I think it's going to look much better. All right, so what I'm going to do is I took a couple pieces of paper. This is 5 inches by 12 and then I took some border punches from Creative Memories and just glued those on the side like that. And I'm just going to put that right in the middle of the paper. So let's go ahead and get that down. And what I wanted to do is put the picture in the middle, but I'm going to use the chipboard frames from the collection. It is so beautiful. You can put two four by three pictures in there. So I'm going to use my T-square ruler. I definitely want this straight. And uh, I think about right there is good. So I'll try to get that in the middle of this green pattern checked paper in the middle here. And then I'll get that out of the way. And then I'm going to come in with my ATG again and just put some ATG right on the chipboard frame itself. just like this okay all right and then I always go around like this just to make sure there's no random ATG sticking off the edges that are going to stick to something and ruin my layout and then I'll hover over this just to see if it looks good I think I'm going to move it over just a little bit to get it in the center of this green and white checked paper. I'm going to push right in the middle, but I'm not going to push on the side because I believe that I want to put some um, ephemera that I fussy cut from one of these pattern papers underneath. So I'm just going to pull that picture up. I didn't think about that very well. Okay, and just like that I think that's good and then I think I want to put this one in here so I shouldn't have done that just yet let me pull that back up a little bit I feel like I'm scrapping backwards <laughs> all right something like that that looks super pretty okay I like that so let's go ahead and put the frame down now that I sort of know what I'm doing I just feel so bad I'm late to the party, Kath. Didn't mean to be late, but I'm really glad I found out about it because if I had missed it altogether, I would have been really sad. Kathy is such a nice person. She's on the Bramble Fox Challenge design team with me. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Stick some glue. And this background paper is also from this collection. It's Simple Stories as well. And it's um, a cream. Because Simple Stories isn't really pure crisp white. It's like an off-white. So I always use an off-white background with their collections. And then maybe I can put this one over here. Let me pull this back up. Good thing this ATG comes back up, huh? Yeah, that looks pretty, so I can do like a diagonal. All right, let me get in there with my glue. Yeah, perfect. 
Hmm, I'm wondering if I should get one of these branches in there. I mean, not that big. I'll just trim that piece of ephemera. Not really digging that either. Let's see if I can scooch it under here. Kind of going by the seat of my pants here, you guys. Because I didn't have any time to plan this out, but I wanted to make sure that I participated. All right, I might like that. And then I fussy cut this out of one of the pattern papers, and I think I'm going to just corner it right here on the side of this frame. And because it is a chipboard frame, it sets up higher, so I'm definitely going to scooch a foam square underneath there. So I'm going to hold this down so I don't rip it. Put this right in there. There. Good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then here's this piece of chipboard. It's got a butterfly and a ribbon, and it says my heart. I was thinking about putting it right there. That looks cute. Let me hold up close so you can see how pretty. Yeah, I think so. But I want to make sure it's high enough that it sits on the frame properly, but also I don't want it to hit the top of her head. So I'll put glue right on the chipboard frame. I think I put that too low and then put this right on the top here okay so I'm going to take this beautiful banner sticker I'm going to put it down a little bit low so it doesn't cover too much of her but I do want it to cover up the sweet life because these words and all these words here it's just going to be too much in the same space so let's see how we can do this all right, so there's that. Yeah, I like that, but we're gonna definitely need some foam squares underneath that because of the chipboard frame. So let me do that. I'll grab my tweezers for that. Sneak them under there. Probably gonna need two, three. I would say three. Okay, like this. And then one more, hang tight with me. I know foam squares are super boring, but they're necessary. And it makes awesome, beautiful dimension. I love that. All right, now coming back to this, I do see some butterflies on here that I would like and some hearts. Look at this green butterfly, super pretty. Love it. And then look at the little teeny butterflies here. Maybe I could use those. All right, let's see where I can get a butterfly at. Bend his wings up. And right here. Like that. Yeah, I think right there. So Okay, I'll just do it just like this. And then I'll push the middle down. Perfect. Okay, I think little butterflies and let's do, oh, there's three on one sticker. That's cute. I have no idea where to put that though. I don't think I like the three on together like that. Maybe I could put it there. Do we like that? I think I like that. I've never used three butterflies at the same time like that before. Let's do it. We're going to put glue just in the middle. Now I have this little trio of butterflies with some glue and foam square on each side. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. I've never used the butterflies like that before with the three like that. I think it's cute. So let me get that in there like that. All right, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. I think we're gonna do some gold splatters too. That'll be really, really pretty. Um, let me grab my honeybee stamp gems like I always do with my butterflies and we'll get some of those on here. So let's do three on this guy. And I think the little teeny ones, maybe we'll just do one on each. Let's see what that looks like. One. Two, 
and a three. All right, I think that this has grown on me, so let me go ahead and put some glue under there before I forget. There are really cute sayings. I like these tag ones. It says best ever. Let's try that. Best ever. Yeah, I like that. See, just a little teeny detail right there. That I love. What do you guys think? It's nestled in there like that. I think I'm like an obsessive nestler <laughs> with my little clusters. And I do like it on there, right there because the leaves go right around the words so you can still read all three of them perfectly. All right, I'm definitely sticking with that. All right, I think we're done with the sticker book. Now let's go to the sticker sheet and see if there's anything else. There's a cute butterfly on here. Let's get this butterfly. You know, because I need another butterfly. I really do. Yep, let's put them right here. Use this. Oh, I think it would be cute if I put um, doll face right there. I hope. Okay, guys, we're almost done. A couple more things. I want to go through these. Um, puffy, I can forget where these, the puffy stickers, the phrases, and the brads, and the enamel dots. I see some hearts on here. Ooh, I like this one that says, just be you. What if we put it right there? Let me see what that would look like. Oh, I don't mind that. I think that's cute. All right, I'm doing it. It's going down. Going down, people. Here's a green heart. I wonder if I have room for that somewhere. That's too weird. That, I don't mind. All right, what else do we got? Oh, here's another green heart. Do I have room for another heart? I wonder. Maybe up here? It's a very weird shaped heart. You know what? There's a better heart on this side. Let me take this off and I'll put that back on there later. And let's use this one instead. There, I like that. Um, this says hello and it could put some black with the black and white photos and that right there. Yeah, I'm liking that, you guys. I'm liking that. I'm going for it. All right, I don't think we need any other of these. But, of course, I'm going to try to get one more because that's what I do. Okay, I got in an argument with my foam square, so I did that off camera. But I just thought if I elevated that a little bit more, it would make that stand out better. I love it. Yep. I think it's pretty. Okay, enamel dots and splatters. Here we come. Hey guys, I think we are done. It came out super cute. It was very quick and easy. I have a little something in the middle there. And I like it a lot. I think it's pretty. And I love this collection. And I'm glad that I was able to participate in this hop to celebrate my girlfriend, Kathy. Congratulations, my friend. Well deserved. And sorry again I was late. But here's some close-ups. Very, very cute. I love it. There you go, you guys. I'll take some pictures and put some close-ups at the end for you. But thank you so much for joining. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join me. Please do. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.